are still top of the league in this episode, guys. Starting off anyway, let's hope to keep that good form up in the Prem. And we are two points clear of Chelsea, and we're looking five points clear ahead of Man United. And below that, Portsmouth, Everton, West Ham, Sunderland in the mix as well. We can count Man City, obviously, as a pretty decent team in this generation. Still not a top side, I wouldn't say yet. Uh, but regardless, uh, all the teams in the top eight at the moment, there's a fair few shaky ones in there. We should hopefully strengthen our lead in today's episode. And in the Champions League, we're now sitting bottom of the group after two shoddy performances against uh, both Atletico and Marseille, losing both of those. We're now joint on points with Marseille, but they beat us in head-to-head, -head, which is why they're in third place. We need an absolute monstrous second half of this group to even consider trying to come out of it uh, in the knockouts of the Champions League. We have beaten West Brom 1-0 in the Carabao Cup, aka the Carling Cup, and we face Fulham um, shortly. We're going to see if that's in this episode right now. We face Chelsea at the bridge in the first game and then the Carling Cup game. We're back at Anfield against Fulham. Should be a win there, uh, but we're going to be back at Anfield after that in the third game of the episode against Manchester United and in what would potentially be the final game, Marseille, the reverse fixture, again at Anfield. Three big games at Anfield in this episode and we may even squeeze in this Middlesbrough game away from home, which should also be a win. But... Let's get into that first game against Chelsea. Looking at the pre-match report in the last five games, Chelsea with a very strong side, by the way. Just look at that. Uh, three wins, a draw and a loss. We're going to be playing them at the bridge. It's a big game. They're in second place, just two points behind us. Let's get into it. And here we are. We're at the bridge. We've toured to London with the squad on the team bus. And we're up for this one. It's a fight for first place. Oh, that's a nice stadium. No, it fucking ain't. But do you know what is nice? This comment right here. Oh my god, that's so, so nice. And it could be you in the very next episode. Say something nice in the comment section, guys. And it might get featured in another edition of this Liverpool career mode. Let's have it. Oh, it's a difficult ball to deal with. Felipe Luiz has got a lot to do. He's went for it. Reina with a big save. Come on. Mikel Essien. Maluda. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. No! Game! Fucking hell! Stick a foot in! This is embarrassing to watch, man. Our defence are literally playing like 12 year olds. Go on, Glenn. Five to one. Go on. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. It's one Janinho. Come on, get your goal amongst in our and our army. Let's go. We're back in here at the bridge. It's one all. Go on, lad. Go on, Fernando Torres. Why are you into it? Find someone, find someone, David Villa. Dana Torres! Right at check. He's been wrong footed though. Balak! Ooh, it's nearly a pen! Drogba into Balak again. Please close him down, please. Felipe Luiz. Oh my god. Rainer with a save with his legs. Should be easy to deal with. What? Oh my god, I'm about to shat myself. I can't believe that. What are our team doing defensively? I don't know. They're all over the place. Deal with it! That's it, game over. Just get it up, Babel. Well, no damage done. we'll take a one-all draw, you know. We will take a one-all draw here, guys. It keeps us top of the table at the bridge. It's a tough game, especially with their side. A one-all draw will do for now. So after beating West Brom, we, of course, do now face Fulham at Anfield. It should be, on paper, an easy game, but it never is in these types of competitions. Let's see what we're made of, but we need to win. Come on. And off we go. It's a big game, guys. We're finally here. We're at Anfield, ready to play against Fulham. This needs to be a win. Let's f have one. Nice. Nice. Torres. Oh! What a save! Would have been a great start for Nano Torres. Find some space and it's a great save. It's another one swung in Janinho. Agua! It's cleared off the line! Get on that. Send it up there. Go on. And again. Go on, it's it! It's another great save. Their keeper's keeping a minute. We can't seem to find the back of the net. We've had ample opportunity. Just watch this get cleared off the line. The keeper's beaten. But the defender's in the most perfect spot. We don't need goal line technology for that, though. Chill out. Lovely. Lovely. It's a great goal for Nando Torres from a Stevie G pass. On the edge of the box. He's blasted it on the half an hour mark. It's 1-0 in the Carling Cup against Fulham. Come on. It's a massive ball. He's volleyed it. Win it. That's what I'm talking about, Torres. Gerard forward to David Villa. It's a great ball. And it's a great goal. It's 2 0 at Anfield in the Carly Cup against Fulham. It's looking like we're going to be winning this game. Still got a way to go, but what a goal. 
Fires an inside pass to Mascherano to Stevie G and it's game over in the top right corner. The captain with 15 minutes or so to go. He makes it 3-0 against Fulham in the Carling Cup. Got to be a win now. Let's have it. All right, we've just got to see this out. Hopefully, we can get a clean sheet. I have just said it, though. No, Zamora. I said it, and I jinxed this again. Oh, my God. I actually cannot say clean sheet. They just score straight away. Benayoun. Pass it in, mate. Pass it in. And another. Oh, we don't need the sweat babble. The swim has made it four. And we've sent full of home with tears down the children's faces. We're on to the next round of the Carling Cup. Come on, you scousers. Oh, my God. Middlesbrough beat Man City 1-0. And Man United just scraped to win against West Ham. Some big, uh, some smaller games, I'd say, in terms of stature of club in round four. The only other games that haven't been played yet. We'll check that out before the end of the episode and let you know who is going to be in that next round five. Fernando Torres grabs October Player of the Month award. As expected, he's been an absolute superstar up top, guys. And our next game is against Manchester United, who are currently sitting just three points behind us in third place. It is a massive game. We'll see who Chelsea face as well. Chelsea are against West Bromwich Albion, so that probably is going to be a win for Chelsea. We need to hopefully find a good result against Manchester United at home at Anfield in the next one. Let's see how we fare. And Manchester United are five wins out of the last five games. They are right up of our backsides right now, by the way, guys. Three points behind us. This is a must not lose, but it's probably more of a must win, to be fair, to make sure that we stay ahead in Chelsea in that number one spot. It's not going to be easy. We face them at Anfield, though. Let's have them. It's a big derby. We're at Anfield against Manchester United. You'll never walk alone playing in the background. The boys and girls are up for it. Whoa. Alone. It's a must win. The three points behind us. Let's have it. Come on. Well in Aga. Fernando Torres straight down the line. Oh, it's beautiful play. Stevie G, how fast can you run, mate? Stevie G, the captain to make it 1 0. <sighs> Van der Sar with an absolutely monumental save. He kept him in it. Tevez. Oh, it's a dangerous ball. Anderson now. In front of Tevez. Anderson again. We're getting stretched at the back at the minute. Nani. Uh-oh. No! And Anderson has bagged it. It's 1-0 to Manchester United. Anfield a silenced early door. 16 minutes in. Damn. Right, we've gone back defensive just for the time being. Tevez just makes him look like an absolute fool. Aga's left in the dark. This is not looking good. Tevez. Carragher almost with a foul. He's forced to clear the ball when he does successfully. Oh, it's best in Glenn Johnson there. Paul Scholes inside to Wayne Rooney. It's not looking good here, lads. It's an inside pass. And Anderson, he gets a brace now. It's 2-0 United. And it is not looking good, Brev. Man United are just better at this stage. Anderson celebrates his second goal. He hugs the gaffer. Sir Alex Ferguson. Find somebody here, Felipe Luiz. I beg you. Find a pass. <laughs> I said find a pass, I did not mean that. Xabi Alonso loses the ball, couldn't quite control it. Rooney, forward to Paul Scholes, back to Rooney. It's fluid football from Manchester United and they picked us apart again. Nani with the ball into the middle, it's Tevez! And it's three, guys. Oh my God, Manchester United are absolutely running through us here at Anfield. It's not even half time yet, this is not good. We need to make some changes. This is not good, this is fucking not good. Close him down, mate. Big save from Reina. Deal with it. Deal with it. And Nani has made Gerard look like an absolute amateur, like a Sunday league player. It's 4 0. And there's not much saving us here, guys. This is not looking good at all. Lovely. Inside again. Can't you got any score? Better you! Van der Sar has kept them in this. Well, technically not. It's a big save, but two big saves from Van der Sar in this game. Massive saves. So ball in from Gerard. Torres is at... Don't stop running around like a nutter. It's 4-1, a potential consolation goal. I'm not having you celebrating. Get the f*** back. No chance. Felipe Luiz. It's a great interception. Benny, you know he's picked up the ball. Final pass, final pass. It's it! It is it's 4-2. Those two big saves from Van der Sar. If he didn't save those shots, it would have been 4-0 and a much tighter affair. All right, Fernando Torres, I'm getting sick of you celebrating when we're this far behind. Honestly. Could be too little too late. It probably is too little too late. I'm not even watching the replay. Get the f*** back. Get back now. Cristiano Ronaldo, who has graced the pitch finally. Forward to Carlos Tevez. This has got to be game over now. 
It's a great save from Reina. Yeah, it's got to be done. It's a job done here, guys. It's a very unfortunate result at Anfield. Manchester United will now be neck and neck on points with us in the Premier League. Let's have a look at the table. And it looks like after that loss against Manchester United, they have taken the top spot, still unbeaten. But Chelsea have actually drew one all against West Brom, which means they're only one point behind us now. But that's actually a good result for us. Still a lot to fight for. But whilst they're coming up next in the Champions League, let's take a look at that one. And of course, as you'll already know, if you've gotten through this episode, we are currently sitting bottom of the league. Three points tied with Marseille. They beat us in France. PSV second with just four points. And Atletico, who are running away with it at the moment, top of the group with seven. This next game is a must win. We are back at Anfield for this final game of the episode and the start of the reverse fixtures in the group. Fernando Torres, he is the man that's going to be called upon in this game. And a little bit of a twist. I'm going to be playing this one. Let's have it. Still miles done really well. No! <laughs> Oh, could have been a good goal. A little bit of decent passing from the Scousers there. Felipe Luis. Oh, he's done really well there. Beating the fullback. Are you fucking kidding me? I basically gave him the shot thinking that he's gonna, he's not going to score it. And he's muzzled it in the near fucking post. Rain has been beating at his near post. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe that. I guess I should have closed him down. He didn't really have any fucking decent passing options. For fuck's sake. That is so unlucky! No! Tried to do a fucking heel to heel with an hit it. Oh! I can't believe it! Come on. <gasps> oh, you Stevie G. Send him. <gasps> oh, it's just not my f***ing game. We could have got a late equaliser and it looks like Marseille have bested us. They're only two wins in the group stage are against us, guys. We're going to be bottom of the f***ing league. I tried to... Uh, provide some divine intervention and actually do something against the AI in that game but I was not successful I haven't scored a f***ing goal I had a fair few chances but Liverpool they've not performed well enough and there's a very good chance that we're going to be out of the Champions League after that oh! so after that result guys we are bottom of the group dead bottom but PSV have lost against Atletico which is great for us we're only three points behind Marseille which means in these final two games if we somehow manage to beat Atletico and beat PSV we still can progress into the knockouts of the Champions League in second place I've got my fingers crossed second in the Premier League still join on points with Manchester United who beat us at Anfield dominated us at Anfield to be fair one point ahead of Chelsea still though and the teams below us apart from that in the, in the top eight aren't looking very decent either so uh, it's all still to play for especially in the Premier League hopefully we can pull our finger out in the Champions League as well but in the Carabao aka Carling Cup we have drew Birmingham City which is a decent result especially out of the rest of them we could have had Manchester United we could have had Chelsea so yeah yeah, we've done well with that one guys uh, if you look in the last round though um, of course we beat Fulham 4-1 uh, Birmingham beat Bolton 1-0 Sunderland bested Coventry 4-1 Portsmouth beating Wimbledon as expected 2-1 and uh, Wigan beating sorry losing to Aston Villa on penalties uh, makes an interesting quarterfinals we're going for a good cup run as well guys we're going to try and at least get one piece of silverware this season but we are looking to win it all if Rory was here I do think we've had a much bigger uh, chance in this uh, first season with Liverpool in 2008-9 but we're still going to go for it we've still got the hope and we've still got the faith and if you made it this far Liverpool must go again you're damn right and we will do tomorrow in the very next episode drop us a like down below if you've enjoyed yourself say something nice in the comment section and make sure that you've hit that button and you are subscribed and that notification bell to be kept up to date with every single one of these daily career mode bangers will Ben and get a little bit more play time in the next episode he's doing well for us so far guys we'll see you in the next one peace